Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we try to know what is affine transformation and how to implement affine transformation in OpenCV. So you know from the last few lectures, we are discussing on the geometric transformation part of an image and how to implement those different transformation in OpenCV. So today, we are trying to deal with this affine transformation. So what is an affine transformation? So affine transformation is any transformation that preserves collinearity. And you know, collinearity means what? That all points lying on a line initially still lie on the line after transformation. So parallelity will be maintained. And ratios of distances, as for example, the midpoint of a line segment remains the midpoint after transformation. So midpoints will remain same. They are not going to be sales. So that is the definition, or that is what exactly affine transformation is. So we see that in affine transformation, what actually happening is that all parallel lines in this original image will still be parallel in the output image. Right. To find the transformation matrix, we need three points from the input image and their corresponding locations in the output image. So for affine transformation, you have to remember that all parallel lines in the original image will always be parallel after the transformation also. And to find this transformation matrix, we need three points from the input image and their corresponding locations in output image. And how to find out that transformation matrix is that we are going to use CV to get a fine transform. Okay, and this will create a two cross three matrix and we'll pass that to CV to verb a fine. So these two functions actually taking the main part of this affine transformation are CV to get the affine transform and then CV to verb a fine. Now, CV to get a fine transformation, you got it. Now we need to know CV to warp a fight in details because this one is very important. Okay, everywhere you will find this to be used. So CV to warp a fine, the syntax is the source and the size DSD flags, then border mode, border value. What are they? Source means your input image, DSD means output image that has the size, D size and that the same type as source, okay? And M is the transformation that we have just found. And D size, you got it that the size of the output image. Flex, combination of interpolation methods. You can get to know about in details in which uh, our lecture on resize. And the optional flag, Warp inverse map, that means that M is the inverse transformation. And border mode means pixel extrapolation method. When border mode is equal to border transparent, it means that the pixels in the destination image corresponding to the outliers in the short image, source image are not modified by the function. And the last border value, value used in case of a constant border, and by default we take its value is zero. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to remember all these terms, but still this, I am saying that this CV2 warp affine is very important. Well, now let's come to the, let us come to the code portion. Now you can take the screenshot of the same, right? So import CV2, import CV2, you know that because we are going to use our open CV, okay? import numpy as np and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. 
parts because array waves operations we are doing that's why this numpy and matplotlib because we are using this plotting function now let's input the original image that is the linear image i am considering for this experiment that is being kept in g drive image data set folder of kajirog university then rows and columns says we are taking it from image.shape you know this shape i have repeated many times in my previous lectures now these points points one and points two are very important because they are to be passed to the cv to get a fine transformation see and we float 32 50 50 250 50 200 points to cp and p float 32 10 100 250 150 guys you do one thing you change the points value and then you'll uh, after executing the experiment you'll see the difference in output and let me know okay so that's it so m cv2 dot get a fine transform pass this two points points one points two so transformation matrix obtained. Now we will pass this to DST CV2 and CV2 WAP affine function. That is image, original image, M, this matrix. Okay. Got through this affine transformation, then calls and rows. Right. Now you can plot this. Parse input image, plot team so plot title input, original image, then plot subplot wanted to plot in so DST plot title output. So we are displaying parse the original image and after the transformation what will be the output image not sure i hope that each line of this code is now clear to you now we are in a position to execute this code in our open cv python spider please open this okay <clears throat> so you can see that i have already put this code and save this as affine1.py. I hope each line of this code is clear to you. You can see the output also, but still I'm displaying, um, executing the whole code like once again. So let's run this file. The file is being run. I hope this all these statements are clear, so I am directly running it. So see, this is the input image and this is the output image. This is the output because of that affine transformation. Well, so that's it. I hope guys, you got it. What is affine transformation and how to do it? Believe me, that's very important and very, very important in some computer vision tasks. So take it sincerely, do it. Okay, so that's enough for today. I hope so. So the Dr. Debo is signing out for today's lecture and meeting you soon in very soon, of course, in my next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.